Hi, uh, my name is Alan Freudigman. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to uh, apply for the uh, high school instructor for the KCTC and the Teacher Academy. Uh, I am very privileged to be able to have this opportunity to share a little bit about myself and why I would like to be a part of the program that you have there and um, coaching these students into uh, the educational field. So uh, a couple of questions that you guys had thrown at me was uh, uh, that I would like to answer. One, obviously, is to introduce myself. So um, as you can probably tell by my accent, I'm Australian, uh, born and raised there. My, my dad was an immigrant to Australia, uh, German, hence the last name, means happy man. And my mom was a Kiwi from New Zealand and um, first generation Australian. Uh, I came to the U.S. Uh, to follow a girl. Uh, I'm now married to her, and this is her right here, Megan. Um, and we have four amazing kids. Uh, Kira, it will be a junior next year. How time flies. Uh, Eliana will be an eighth grader. Quinn, a fifth grader. And Naya, my youngest, will be a uh, second grader next year. So as you can see, I've got my hands full. Um, I have uh, lived here and been married for 20 years. My wife actually works for Grand Valley as well. And she uh, is the director of the elementary internship uh, program at Grand Valley. So I have a, a familiarity familiarity with how uh, Grand Valley's education program runs, as well as uh, I have taught uh, as an adjunct at Grand Valley for several years now. Uh, the class that I teach for the education department is called Ac uh, Strategies for Success. And the goal there is to help kids on academic probation or on jeopardy of dismissal. To, to coach them into good academic standing is ultimately the goal. Uh, in doing that though, uh, I find myself learning the complexities of students' lives and uh, the challenges that they have uh, ahead of them to succeed. And sometimes just uh, helping have another set of eyes on their struggles, uh, their goals, their dreams, uh, helping them with new tools. Uh, I can help them you know, overcome hurdles, um, maybe put aside some things that aren't important, but just coaching them and mentoring them is a big, being a big, big part of uh, my career. I have taught at all three levels, uh, elementary, which I absolutely loved. I nearly left high school teaching to be an elementary teacher because I just thoroughly enjoyed the elementary setting so much, especially in uh, the phys ed, which is where I spent most of my time with the elementary. Uh, just amazing, fun loving group of students. Um, I have spent most of my career at East Kentwood High School, very diverse population where we speak over 80 languages there, I think. And they uh, comes with all sorts of blessings and challenges. Uh, it's such a, my time um, in more the middle school area was more like in student teaching, um, but I've spent most of the last 10, 15 years at East Kentwood at Creston High School, Grand Valley, uh, and international teaching mostly where the elementary was in Australia. Uh, I've been a coach for pretty much a good portion of the last 15 years. I will be the assistant varsity coach at Byron Center. So again, working with students again. Uh, and it's more about, for me, the coaching them as a person and helping them obviously be good soccer players, but good people along the way, uh, which is an added challenge sometimes uh, when it comes to sports. Sometimes I just want to win no matter what. Uh, but I love doing this kind of work. If you, uh, when I get to my resume, one of the things that you'll see mostly there is my whole life, my whole career has been around working with young people, young students, and uh, guiding them to that next step. So uh, specifically for KCTC and the Teacher Academy, you know, this is one of the questions, uh, why that particular, um, why you guys? Uh, and, and the answer is, is I've had so many students come through uh, East Kentwood who come to KCTC for different purposes, whether it be um, for, um, not welding was the word, mechanics, uh, for different hospitality things, and they speak so highly of KCTC, uh, and I just have a, such a high respect for them, uh, and I'm looking forward to being a part of the Teacher Academy and taking that next uh, group of students who want to be teachers and guiding them there, and it still allows me to work with my EK students, still get to work with that same demographic, the high school, the 10th, 12, sorry, 11, 12 uh, group of kids too, uh, and I see in this role a great opportunity as well to keep building my craft of teaching, but also to kind of go that next place of uh, taking my personal skill sets, um, but also my experiences uh, to collaborate with colleagues, universities, mentor teachers, um, and kind of build those uh, what we call 
networks and partnerships so the students can uh, get a great experience, see what good teaching looks like, how to do it. Um, sometimes it's not obviously just about how to write a good lesson plan, but the good interpersonal skills too. Students lack, lack, lack a lot of that, especially post COVID. And I look forward to hopefully coaching them in how to have those good interpersonal skills, but also um, the pedagogy and the understanding of, of being a good teacher uh, can and should and, and will look like in the future, especially with the changes that we can see coming with AI and uh, technology. Um, and so all of this with KCTC, what I love about uh, the institution is how you uh, take all those things that our school, the schools around you um, are not giving the opportunities to, and you're giving students the opportunity to get college credit for it. And I'd love to be a part of that and, and work with Grand Valley and with any other partners and, and colleagues to help uh, students get those great experiences. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. Uh, another question uh, was, what am I most proud of about my resume and my CV? As I looked through my resume, the thing I noticed the most was my whole career has been working with young adults, uh, young, young people, not necessarily adults. Uh, and what that has done uh, through teaching at East Kentwood, uh, Grand Valley, teaching internationally, coaching, uh, but especially my time at East Cantwood is it's broadened my worldview, uh, which I think is critical for anybody going into any workforce these days. Uh, having a broadened worldview for students going into education is going to be super important. Um, no matter where they've come from, whether it's, you know, their culture, their religion, uh, their gender identity, uh, all of these things, no matter who I have met, I've come to the understanding that they all deserve um, an opportunity, equity, um, and guidance to get to their goals and dreams. And uh, I'm excited to have the opportunity to do that, especially with juniors and seniors who have already identified education, and they want to understand how to do that well. And so I think it's critical that whoever takes this role um, understands that. Um, is aggressive about making uh, great connections and um, cooperation with the universities and the mentor teachers and finding good opportunities for them. Because um, they they want to go into this amazing field that we in education already know is amazing. Um, and so I hope they come out of the program with that love and that passion um, and being well-trained and ready for this, this new world that they're going into. So, uh, and there's always a need for young people to have good adults. Uh, the world has plenty of examples of adults that are showing them what not to do. And so I'm excited to be one of the adults that can show them how to do education and do it well. Uh, <clears throat> building relationships uh, is something that I love to do. Uh, I have worked with students, high school students specifically for a good portion of the last 15 years. And, you know, the big thing I've noticed is they just want to know that you care about them. Um, when you win any student over, you really win their whole self and they're willing to listen to you do things. And part of that is like what you see there, be approachable, kind, empathetic, positive, encouraging. They have plenty of adults in their lives who uh, don't do that for them. And they definitely need somebody like me to be that, you know, breath of fresh air when they come in the room and know that I've got their back. Um, and part of that is, you know, just getting to know each other really well. Um, I'm, as you can see there, part of conflict management is knowing each other. I spent a good part of the first couple of weeks of school just making sure that we have an opportunity for kids to share things about them um, and that they can tell us their story as much as they're willing to do. And, and by doing that, we appreciate where each other come from better. Not necessarily agree with it, but we appreciate it enough to not say stupid things or, or say things out of ignorance or misunderstanding or bias um, or indifference. So that's huge for me when it comes to building relationships with students. Uh, with families, they wanna know that you love their, their student. Families wanna know that you care for them. Um, and so good communication is huge, sometimes not over communication, but good communication. Uh, but also showing up at events. They don't expect me to be at events, but when I do, they have a newfound appreciation for educators when they show up at students' events. And 
that, that opens new doors. Um, so that's a, that's that's something that I've noticed, and that's kind of like my highlight reel uh, for the past 15 years when it comes to uh, families. Uh, with staff in school, uh, I find staff in school is a lot like your neighborhood. You don't get to pick your neighbors, but when you have good ones, it's amazing, and it's game-changing, and it's, it's life-changing, and it's a breath of fresh air. And I feel the same way with colleagues. When you have good colleagues who have your back, who um, love to see you every day, that's a game changer. And um, I would love to be a part of that. And uh, obviously, in, in, in reciprocal, in, in return, um, get that from where I go to work too. Um, and obviously, being part of uh, school functions, collaboration, and being willing to do what it takes to get these students to their dreams and goals of being a good educator. So that's kind of uh, everything in a nutshell that you have asked me. Um, this one young lady here who actually takes care of my bearded dragon at school, uh, her name's T, that's what we call her. It's not actually her real name, but it's what we call her. Uh, she's a classic example of a kid that I've just fed into and I'm trying to help get to her, help her to get to what she wants to do. Uh, not into teaching specifically, but she wants to get into biomed and she's been struggling and I uh, really took her under the swing this year just to kind of help her um, and guide her to uh, move forward in her life and her career uh, by getting her through some obstacles. Uh, and that just speaks to a little bit what I love to do. And, and it's important because she doesn't have other people in her life that will do that. And um, yeah, I hope that gives you a little snapshot of who I am. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And I hope I get an opportunity to meet you all in person. Thank you.